You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is the famous line of Jesus in Matthew's Gospel when the Pharisees ask him which commandment of God's laws is the greatest, and he says this is the heart of the law, the number one social commandment, the new commandment. I could tell you about how charity is a supernatural virtue by which we love God above all things for God's own sake, or how it includes love of our neighbor, or how it's love without any hope of reward or for selfish reasons. I could tell you how charity isn't just giving away money to the needy, but it's a choice to live this genuine, supernatural love that goes beyond emotion and beyond feelings. But I think the best way to teach you about the virtue of charity is to tell you a story. In the peaceful suburbs of a small Polish city in 1940, a camp was established that would become a symbol of terror, genocide, and the Holocaust. The Third Reich named this camp Auschwitz. For years, it functioned as one more concentration camp of the type the Nazis had been establishing, where prisoners were isolated from the outside world, exploited as slave laborers, barely kept on this side of starvation and dehydration, where sickness, fear, and death reigned. One evening in the second year of this camp's dismal existence, three prisoners appeared to have escaped from the camp. As a result, the deputy commander of Auschwitz ordered ten men to be chosen to be starved to death in an underground bunker. When one of the men heard he was selected, he cried out, my wife, my children, at which point another prisoner volunteered to take his place. To the astonishment of the commander and the entire population, the second man pointed to the condemned who spoke and said, I am a Catholic priest from Poland. I would like to take his place because he has a wife and children. This man was Maximilian Kolbe. When the ten, including the priest, were led away to the underground bunker, he led them in hymns, prayers, and canticles to the Lord, all the way through to the end. Father Colby encouraged the others, acting as a courageous light and a reminder of human dignity in the face of extreme cruelty. Even one of the SS guards remarked, This priest is really a great man. We have never seen anyone like him. This is the kind of supernatural charity that we're called to practice. It's supernatural because it is so extreme. It's not something that we can do on our own strength, but only by the grace of God. Ask God for the gift of charity in your life and see what you can do with his supernatural, amazing, and beautiful loving grace.